Hi, this is Bo Astrup. Uh, just a quick video here in a response to a question that was popped up online this morning regarding how do you bus out the individual drums from uh, TuneTrack Easy Drummer in Digital Performer. And here I have uh, DP11 running. So the first thing we can do is set up some multiple tracks to uh, record the, the drums on. Now I can I could either go with aux tracks or I can go with audio tracks. Depends on your workflow, but I would say in this case, let's just try it with uh, audio tracks. And let's make, say, let's make eight, eight tracks here. And so the first one, let's call it kick, snare, hat. We can do one for the toms. Then we'll do one for overhead. Let's just stop it there right now, just to prove prove the point here. So what I'll do here, because this will still come in on the Easy Easy Drummer channel where I have the virtual instrument inserted. So we'll go to the mixer, and then we have to go here. You see, here's the bus assignment. So I'll change the kick to two, snare to three, hi hat to four tums to 5, overhead to 6, um, let's do, actually let's do the ambience as well, let's take that with us, so let's go ambience to 7. All these will still come out on 1, so they will go to that, but I could c continue going uh, on here, send the common press signal to 8 and so on and so forth, and just keep going. Now. You will hear, if you go back to the drums, we'll still hear it because it, it, it goes through some of the other stuff. So let's just, let's mute all this stuff here. So now you don't hear it because it was coming out on the channel one through the compressed and the reverb and, and the ambience there. So now we don't hear it. So what we'll have to do, as this is um, this is um, audio tracks, anyway, it, it actually doesn't matter whether this is audio tracks or aux tracks. Well, I have to set the input to Easy Drummer three four, input Easy Drummer five six, Easy Drummer seven eight, Easy Drummer nine ten, Easy Drummer eleven twelve and easy drummer 13 14 so what you see is kind of odd that we go from 2 3 and then it's called 3 4 so there's this offset that you have to deal with and and just manage around that this is the way it works so what the we will have to do now to actually hear the drum we will have to input enable the individual channels here so now we got the kick there you got the kick and you see you have some bleed into the snare but it, it's kind of it's nice it's the way it works in in the studio that uh, you don't have full separation then we have the hat coming in on the hat tums it bleeds into the snare as well then we have the overheads and then we have the ambience The reason why I did uh, make it uh, audio tracks is because now it's really easy for me to just record this. So if we um, just make, just take a f couple of bars here. So now I can simply record enable these tracks right here. and record it. There we go. So now this is audio. I can shut down Easy Drummer and just work with my audio here which is um, separated out. 
Of course, we can keep it in the MIDI domain, take the MIDI and drag that into DP as well. So now we'll trigger it so we can get this away. Um, remove these things and now trigger it by MIDI. So you have, it, it's so extremely versatile and flexible so you can do what you do. If I didn't want to print it to the audio right now, I could have gone with um, aux tracks. It would have worked the same way. So anyway, this is just a short video on how to do it with Easy Drummer 2 in Digital Performer 11.